Alrighty, so it's been a while since I did my last build video, but I decided that it was probably worth it considering it's the most successful for us video I've done. So this is a multi-TC socket stacked uh, group base. It can be done anywhere from a duo to six, eight, I guess you could go, um, but it's built i guess for three to five three to six maybe so a medium sized group but i have done it as a duo and the upkeep is you know not exactly easy but it's doable so it has six entrances out of the compound the compound can be done in segments it doesn't have to be done wood um i just did it i guess because usually you come against come across wood walls faster um so it has six entrances out of the compound. It has four entrances in and out of the core of the base. It has two drop box areas and six furnaces for the foundation, the foundation of the walls that I've done myself. But you can obviously play around with all that stuff. Um, it can have up to six windmills. Uh, you can add more in these outhouses. Um, a lot of it can be played around with depending on what you want to do with it. Obviously all these have TCs in them, upkeep is the same for every one, 2k, 1k, that will vary depending on um, how much you upgrade the base. Uh, I've built it so the walls are basically not, will not allow anyone that's raiding to blow through one set of walls and have complete control all the way around the base. Um, and they'll have outhouses like this that you can use to prevent um, more breaching, I suppose. Um, if you've been raided or online in a bigger base, you'll know that they're quite useful and holding compounds pretty important. So, so the turrets can obviously be placed depending on how many you have and where you want them as well. Um, so with the way I've done the wood walls, there's six furnaces in this. Um, you can obviously do it completely different however you want to. Um, I will say that if you want to build video please let me know in the comments or just with a like or whatever because I'm happy to do one but it will be a longer video because the base isn't exactly easy to build considering it's socket stacked and multi TC'd. Um, it can be done as a starter. I have a starter version of it that costs about 6.5k metal for k wood um, that can be quite easy to get down. Um, so there's four entrances, two on each kind of side of the base, and then there's two of these drop rooms that you can use for anything really. If you were to land or just have farm in these while you're cooking and you're online, I wouldn't recommend leaving loot in here, obviously. Um, two more exits and entrances, and another drop room. Uh, so entering the base, it's just like any other one. You can add more garage doors here if you want. It's a kind of split peek down room, uh, peek down area, so there's jump ups, you can either do this with ladders or a lot easier is just a stone barricade. Turrets also are just to your individual liking, I have tried putting them up here as well and they can cover every angle, so there'll be two that the raiders have to destroy just to be able to get in even if they blow a hole in the base, um, but this is just how I've put it here for now. Uh, these are obviously just extra honeycomb. Um, walk around on the inner peaks, these aren't laterable, uh, they're also, I mean nothing amazing really, but these you can play around with peak down as much as you want. These are just to seal the gaps between the TC, just using door frames. Uh, as you run around there's only one entrance into the core because it just screws with the design too much if you try and make more than one. Uh, that's here goes up. A few doors into the core, which doesn't matter too much until later on. Um, now there's three levels. The way I have seen that offlining is least successful is to have your loot on the third floor because no one blows into that. Even in onlines, people usually blow the second, uh, first and second floor because it's right in front of them and it's a lot easier. To hit. So with this design, 
which is roof stacked, I guess you'd call it. Um, and that means that this one by one instead of two walls is three. This might look uh, splashable here, but it actually isn't. It's just the animation. Well, not the animation, the design, it just sticks through the wall. This is a raised foundation. Um, that'll be explained in the build video if I end up doing that. Um, so these are second floor, I just made bedrooms. Again, this is purely personal. You don't have to do that. Um, this leads around and there is a total of six beds. Um, that can be changed as much as you want, obviously. Um, and those are just lockers. I'd suggest as you get more stacked, you upgrade these because again, people usually blow into the first and second level and that would increase the time it takes for them to hit your beds. Um, this goes down. It is a simple roof bunker. So while it's sealed, this is what it looks like. Um, from the other side, you just have to spawn on your bag in here, which is a bunker. Um, this is again, personal preference. I would probably put uh, shop fronts because it's pretty efficient space wise obviously it costs a lot um, you can hold a lot of loot down here I wouldn't hold my main loot down here just a lot of the better stuff I guess tier 2 not like tier 1 stuff um, you usually get rid of that anyway by this point but you could fit as many bags as you want in here depending on how many how much loot space you want down here but standard roof bunker you chop that place a new down upgrade it and it's just as simple as putting a roof there um, and upgrading that. So that's the main room where at the start you put the TC, but I move it as I upgrade the base. Um, so this goes up and this is your third floor. Um, these are the loot rooms and the power rooms that I usually have the best stuff in, in these um, vending machines. Again, I've never had an online or an offline in a base design similar to this or at least three or four stories high where they've blown into the third floor directly and got to the loot straight away because people just don't typically hold their loot there because it is a bit annoying to go up and down I guess sometimes but it's a trade-off I guess so you have three of these loot rooms um, two power rooms depending on how many windmills you have this is where I usually put the TC um, and the tier 3 and I usually have my comps in this side one here so it's easy to craft you have GP and stuff obviously boxes underneath um, the upkeep in the current state is quite doable it's really nothing extreme 14k 14.5k 250 500 5k and the wood is pretty much the uh, the bunker down there um, but you can obviously get rid of the stone as you go and get more metal frags um, so there's two of those loot rooms. This goes out into your, there's two entrances out into peak downs. Um, I would upgrade these to single armored doors when you can, just to increase the raid cost if they do try and take shooting floor, um, which is also why I have a window here to prevent that. Um, it has been useful before. The peaks are very simple, but they also give complete wraparound view. So there's nowhere to hide. If they go to the next jump across with ladders, you've got an angle on that, obviously. So there's nowhere out of view of the peak downs, even though they are quite simple. Um, you could technically put garage doors here if you wanted to, but um, that's up to you. <coughs> the shooting floor is very simple. Just standard peak downs, multi-TZ peak down, which can be quite useful. There is an angle where your bullets will start hitting though, um, but it's always useful. <coughs> Anyway, there is three entrances to the shooting floor, which might seem like a few because usually people have entrances everywhere, but that's just how I have it because there's two that are entered through these, um, these exits from the third floor. And there's one over here by itself, just kind of evens it out and makes it symmetrical. Um, so if we use either of these to go to the roof, it's pretty simple. This is the socket stacked part. Obviously, theoretically, you can um, you can roof stack any of the levels that you want to as much as you want. You have to work that out in the building phase when you're building. This won't place obviously because there's a roof there, but you could theoretically roof stack every single level if you wanted to. 
that increases your upkeep obviously so i usually just do the top floor because that covers the best loot and as long as you have turrets people don't really bother with top downing anymore even though it's the best way to raid um so this just leads into the top where you have some drop down boxes um that can also be used to peek obviously um this can also be used as a heliport uh if you're uh, confident enough to pilot you could fit I'd say four gyros in here which would reduce the decay time on those um, and the roof is pretty standard turrets that cover every angle so there's no way to really hide apart from if you were to ladder up into here I guess and just sit here but I don't know how you'd manage that getting over here but people always seem to find a way obviously you can put um, up to six windmills that will all fit evenly um, the roof is pretty standard and the, uh, the way I've laid out the compound is I guess how I would do it but it's personal preference. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you want to build video just drop a comment or just like the video I guess and that will tell me that people want to see how to build it. It does take time so you have to kind of be prepared to practice it a few times on a build server which sounds stupid but there's a lot of ways you can fuck up a roof stack or a socket stack so um, anyway I hope you like it and uh, yeah let me know.